arming a barbaric uh, totalitarian uh, regime, which are a bunch of perverts. If a blogger asks for a bit of democracy, he gets a thousand lashes. A lash rips the flesh apart. They do it only 50 at a time. After that, he would be dead. So they're going to take that poor man to the point of death at 20 uh, times. The Saudis, they love whipping women. They're sexual perverts as well. And at this very moment, they like killing uh, their perversion is they're killing women and children in Yemen for no other purpose but killing because they will never, ever succeed in getting the reintroduction of horrible Hardy, the previous uh, autocrat uh, there. And notice that the Americans are also in the same game. They're the warmongers and the killers, the Brits and the Israelis and the Saudis. And that's the axis of evil. And we are part of that. And we are supporting the Saudis in their monstrous aggressions, their sexual perversions, their physical perversions, and the fact they are a gruesome, anti-democratic uh, country. We should be ashamed of ourselves. And it's time we have the guts to say we will never arm these people and we will endeavor to overthrow them because that is what must happen for the good and the progress of this world. Every decent uh, person in this world, uh, some of those decent per people are misled by the Zionist control of the media, and that includes the BBC, where the Zionist control is usually done by the omission of the truth. If ordinary decent people knew what's happening in Yemen and realised that the, one of the poorest countries in this world is having all its infrastructure smashed, its medicine stopped, it's the same game as the Israelis get up to Gaza. In both cases, behind uh, Saudi Arabia and Israel, there's a fascist mentality and a racist mentality. They think they're doing this to get against inferior people. But we are hand in glove with these perverts. And I name the Israelis as being the perverts as well. We've got to have some guts and stand up at least on moral principle of this. And in the long run, we should deal with democracies in the Persian Gulf, because that's where our not only moral, but our economic interests lie, dealing with democracies in the Persian Gulf and not with these totalitarian, corrupt, barbaric, feudal regimes. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rodney Shakespeare, joining us from London.